So what I'm asking you to do is to get your shift together. In other words, what I'm saying here, rather than focusing on what isn't working and all the things that need to be done, shift your focus and your way of thinking to the things in your life that are working. Your first goal, this is what I'm suggesting, your first goal when you open up your eyes should be to focus on the things that ignite your spirit and bring you joy. I want you to focus on the things that you appreciate in your life, the things that you're grateful for. I don't care who it is or what it is. Maybe it's the person lying next to you. Maybe you're thinking of your children. Maybe you're thinking of the dog or the cat lying by the side of the bed, a particular goal that you achieved. Maybe there's an event coming up on the weekend. Maybe, maybe you're meeting with your friends for lunch. You see, folks, it doesn't matter who it is or what it is. There's always something to be grateful for, to appreciate. And what I'm asking you to do in those few moments before you crank and get into your day is to focus on these things. Now, why am I asking you to do this? Because an attitude of gratitude simply makes you feel good. And feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. And you keep this stuff going throughout the day. Whenever you're feeling stressed out at work and you're feeling that the challenges are really getting to you, maybe it's an irate customer, maybe orders didn't come in, maybe things just aren't going, whatever it is, rather than trying to tackle that situation, allow yourself to temporarily step away from that moment that's bringing you down or stressing you out and immediately start focus on things that make you feel better, that ignite your spirit, that bring you joy. And then when you eventually do go back to that moment that's stressing you out, which you inevitably do have to do, you're gonna realize that it won't be as overwhelming as it was before. Why? Because you've calmed your nervous system down to the point where you are now embracing the situation rather than having that situation control you. And I promise you, you will find solutions to the problems a lot quicker and you'll be able to deal with the next challenge that will probably come upon you moments later. People, we go through the course of our lives every day and we allow situations, circumstances, events, challenges, and people to literally suck the energy out of us because we don't know that we have the strategies or the tools to turn these things around. And I'm telling you that you do. And again, it's your choice and it's your responsibility.